What's up, motherfucker? What's up, bitches? It's Casey Neistat here. Um, as you can see, uh, I don't know where I am. I can't fucking breathe. <laughs> What have you been doing in your life then? Oh, just, just been making some uh, sh shit, shit content. Hey. Where are you making your home hey. then in the caves? Hey. I'm, here, yeah. um, I'm wearing this mask because uh, people keep saying I look like a caveman and shit. And uh, I get really self conscious, I guess. The fucking Cuban mask, I think. <laughs> Fuck it all! <laughs> <laughs> My nan's got better trainers than you. It's like a piss <laughs> You know that little black kid that eats chicken? Oh, no, like, oh yeah. yeah. Alright, you have to zoom in. Crap check, bitch. Sweet Sweet in the Crap check, no, no Karachis. All uh, black. A lot of daily vloggers have a sort of an aura of forced positivity. Forced positivity. Forced post post positivity. Casey Owen Neister, I think your content, your content is pretty good. I'm just kidding, it's fucking awful. I mean, if you brush away the false positivity, and then you look at the daily vlogs knowing that it's a facade of happiness and bullshit, then, you know, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's watchable at that stage, but to the average viewer, people are gonna be like, Oh, this guy must be happy all the time. No, no, he's not. It's just a facade of fucking happiness. Try and find a vlog where Casey Neistat doesn't smile. What the fuck? It's impossible. You're more likely to fucking win the lottery than find Casey Neistat not smiling in any one of his vlogs. It's fucking impossible. Right, listen here, Fred Flintstone. We've had enough of your pandering bullshit. You know you could just, like, be natural and show some other emotions apart from happiness, you fake piece of shit. And he's always going around saying, oh, I'm so fucking happy. I mean, you would hope so with the lifestyle he has. I mean, his job is literally just vlogging what he does in his day. That's his fucking job. I mean, that is a pretty good job. But it's quite evident that he puts on a thick fucking greasy layer of bullshit on his face and then just films it for about 10 minutes and uploads it on YouTube. A lot of people, you know, they bust a nut because they see Casey Neistat fly a drone over New York City and then he puts music over it. Whoa, that's fucking crazy that is. I wish I knew how to fly a drone and put music over the footage. So yeah, it is watchable and I think it is good, but it is fucking fake as shit. But at least they're not as bad as dry scums. Have you watched that shit? It's fucking awful. I literally watched one or two of his daily vlogs and I thought, my eyes are starting to develop cataracts. This is fucking awful to watch. So if you haven't watched dry scums vlogs as of yet, fucking don't. Before I started vlogging at a YouTube channel for, for, for five years. And in those five years, I had a whole bunch of huge viral hits. Movies that got like 15, 16 million views. views. Having an ego isn't bad, but when your ego is the same size as your nose, that's a problem. I mean, look at how fucking massive that cunt is. But ignoring the abnormal size of his nose, we could just have a look at his big fucking ego. I mean, Casey, mate, I know that we're not all immune to haters, but I think your ego plays a big part in the reason why you get so fucking pissed off at any negative comment you receive. I mean, in your video, Haters are losers video. You got a bit defensive over negative comments. I mean, rightly so. A lot of people do get defensive over negative comments. People aren't always going to be nice to you, you fucking moronic piece of shit. But the funny thing is, you got offended over something that isn't worth getting offended over. You thought, this guy is taking the piss out of me. It warrants a whole 10 minute video. Wait, what, what did he say? What did he say again? But I often get comments on my vlogs that are like, this is an advertisement. Like my McDonald's video where my friend Oscar and I went and ate McDonald's. Yeah, that's right. All the fucker said was, Are you sponsored or are you promoting McDonald's? You must be. And in case you know, I start for, this guy's taking the fucking piss. People are going to believe him. Oh my God. I am not promoting McDonald's people. I would never do that. Unless, unless I get a bit of money from it. But I would never do that. And fuck you for insinuating I do. I mean, perhaps if you didn't take such pride in your video and think that they're the best of a thing to fucking grace this planet, then 
maybe you wouldn't get so defensive over shit comments like that. Fucking hell. It's just one or two people that said, are you promoting McDonald's? And you fucking flipped the table and thought, I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of people now. I mean, practically in this video, you even put a disclaimer. I'm getting very mad and I'm gonna fucking swear and shit, so don't watch it if you're underage. You started punching a hole in your fucking leg because you were so pissed off because people thought you was promoting McDonald's. I mean, grow up, you knobhead. You big fat fucking knobhead. And the reason why he got defensive over this is because he has an ego. He thinks his content is fucking untouchable. You keep fucking doing it. I mean, when you sold out to CNN, you was like, oh my fucking god, people, stop calling me a sellout. You did sell out, you knobhead. <laughs> There's no other word for that. You did sell yourself and your company to CNN. You sold out. What else are you, we are supposed to say? You dickhead. I mean, listen here. Just because you wasn't the first fucker to discover fire doesn't mean you have to get angry over every fucking thing that happens. Sell out. Sell out is one of my least favorite things to hear because people who call other people sellouts have no idea what they're talking about. So Casey being a sellout was everywhere. Loads of people was talking about it, especially people like Keem and Scare. So I mean, they was practically fucking getting their knob out when they was reading this news out because Oh, it's so much drama. It's so fucking much drama. I mean, let's face it, all he did was literally sell his company and himself to another company. That's that's all he did. And people are getting so pissed off. He is a sellout. Let, let's just agree on that. But he doesn't warrant the hate. I mean, I saw loads of comments fucking roasting him about his looks and appearance just because he sold out to CNN. It was fucking beautiful to watch. Right, Casey, mate, you big smelly prick. I ain't the one to kind of go around and accuse people of selling out. I mean, good on you, pal. But selling out to CNN, I mean, that's the lowest you can get. Bro. Is he a sellout? Does he like money? I think he does. Look at me! I'm very fucking rich. That is the nature of a healthy democracy. But this is not, 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 not that. This is about a megalomaniac who's driven by nothing but, but, but ego. But, but, a man who cares exactly zero. Finally, for the final act of Casey Neistat's autopsy, I would like to mention that he is a manipulating Manipulating piece of shit. I mean, if you dissect past the facade of false emotions and his love for fucking money, then it's quite evident that he loves to manipulate his viewers at times. I mean, I would imagine most of us remember that video where it's like, I'm voting for Hillary. Well, I don't give a fuck if, if you guys don't agree. I don't even care if I'm gonna lose a shitload of subscribers. I'm voting for Hillary. Why the fuck did he make that video? No one asked for it. No one wanted it. And most importantly, we just don't give a fuck, Casey. We just we just don't give a fuck. But the reason he made this video is because he wanted his viewers to reach out and tell their viewers about who they're voting. He even says it in the fucking video. I mean, why would you do that? So the reason he did this is because he wanted people to make videos similar to his. Because he even said it in the video, he wanted people to come out and express their political views. Of course, this is fucking devastating. If a company did this, and said that they're voting for a candidate, then a lot of people would fucking get pitchforks and start stabbing the manager or some shit like that. But he did it because he wanted to manipulate people. He wanted people to come out and say, I'm voting for Hillary as well, so you might as well. Because he is influential. He's got a lot of fans and he probably has a shitload of viewers that were like, there, I don't know who to vote for the, 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 the fucking uh, presidential election, so I might as well go with what Casey's going because He's a smart man. That's that's the reason he did that. At the end of the day, all he wanted to do was to promote Hillary Clinton in the presidential election to hopefully get her a few more votes and to get other people to make videos about why you should vote for Hillary Clinton. I mean, it is such a manipulating video and people was like, oh, Casey, you're such a fucking piece of shit. And that's why it got so many dislikes because he shared his political views and he tried to manipulate his viewers, which in some cases he did. So fair play to him, I guess. Hey, welcome to the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I know if you've watched my previous autopsy video on Leafy, this uh, differs quite significantly. Very quickly, I've also got a Snapchat, so go add that it's up on screen. Of course, no hate to Casey. Fuck you though, I don't like you. <laughs> yeah, you're alright. Without further ado, here's uh, Chubbs' opinion on Casey. He's a bit of a dickhead. Of course, massive big fuck off thank you to... 
Chubbs for being part of this video. Go subscribe to him if you haven't already. Also, on the topic of that, you should go check out his Case of the Caveman video. It's uh, quite relevant to this video and it is fucking hilarious. So go check that out. If you liked the video, please smash a big fucking like on it. And if you don't, just dislike it or whatever you want to do, really. Of course, comments are hugely appreciated and I would love to see your feedback on this new variation of the series so far. Yeah, that's all I have to say. But anyway, thanks all. I hope you have a good day. And fuck off. I'm at peace.